Have you ever wanted to take some of the emails in your inbox and automatically forward them to somebody else to deal with and or just move them into a folder so it automatically sorts for you? Today I'm going to show you how to create rules and filters inside of your Outlook email to do just that. Save time, save headache, and delegate tasks more efficiently. So what you need to do is you need to log into your Office portal, office.com, and log in. And you'll, after you log in, you'll get to this screen most likely or whatever default screen you get to, you can click up here in the nine box, top left corner, waffle, whatever you want to call this, app launcher. If you click here, it'll give you the menu icons. Um, so what you need to do is click on Outlook. So we can log in. And the reason you want to do this on the online version instead of the desktop is most of the time, if you do it in the desktop first, it doesn't always sync to the server. So if you create it on the online version, it always gets pushed out to the desktop Outlook version. So I always recommend automatically doing it online. That way you can always know where your stuff is and you don't have to worry about if it's on this computer or that computer. It syncs it everywhere. So when you get into your online version, uh, we're going to come up here into the top right corner, click on settings. And then we're going to go all the way down to the bottom. It says View All Settings. We're going to click on this right here. And that's going to take us into the Settings panel. So what you want to do from here is you want to go into the Rules account. As you can see here in my Rules setting, I have quite a few uh, rules set up. Um, actually, there's uh, more than quite a few. There's a ton. So what I did here, one way I started organizing my emails once I identified <laughs> how many I got on a daily basis was for my insurance carriers that I did most of my business with. I started creating folders specifically for them because how many times are you going back to look? Uh, the underwriter at Travelers or the underwriter at whatever company sent me the message. Um, so you can do that by creating a rule. And I'm just going to select um, one of them here. So for example, my state auto one here. I'm going to click edit so you can see the rule. So I named the rule. So this is this I just named it state auto so I could identify it pretty quickly. And then I just created a small commit, just one condition here. So this is a simple uh, rule. So the sender's address includes, and I just put the domain name. So stateauto.com. Uh, if the email that I receive comes from something at stateauto.com, this rule is going to trigger. And then the action is what you want it to do. So on the action, I said I want to take this email and I simply want to move it into a folder that I created uh, named State Auto inside of my Outlook. So if you're going to move it into a folder, create your folder first, then you'll be able to create the rule here. And then once it's there, I want it to stop processing rules because I don't want it to accidentally move it somewhere else. Um, unless you have a plan on how you have that flow, I would just recommend just doing one rule at a time and letting that happen the way it is. Um, and then once you get that level of comfort with creating rules, you can come back and make them more complex uh, down the road. But this is just a simple way to create a rule to segment your emails into a box Inside of my Outlook, like I said, I have quite a few email boxes. Um, so I'm going to hit uh, discard because I don't want to change anything there. Um, and then here is another example for uh, two applications. So what I did in this situation is if in this time I did the subject include. So in, because I get applications from several different insurance companies, this is more on the health insurance side. Uh, because we get confirmation of application submitted. I did the condition as the subject included, and then I pulled out common phrases that I found inside of each uh, email that I received from each company. That's why you see you can add quite a few different things here. So Blue Cross Kansas City application confirmation. In every confirmation email I get, it has that piece of it. There may be more but it has that piece of it. I just copy and paste it straight from the subject line. So any email we receive, no matter what company it's from in this scenario, if it has these things, one of these things in the subject line, it will trigger this rule. So 
here's a Blue KC broker letter. It may have the name after it, but as long as, as, long as it uh, takes that information in the subject, it's going to trigger this. And so then the application piece that uh, I wanted to uh, apply this rule for is the action, sorry. Um, I wanted to move it into an applications folder. That way I always had a copy of this in my email box in case I wanted to come back and reference it. And then the next action I took was I wanted to mark this as red because inside of my email, I don't need to deal with this. I'm delegating this to somebody else. And then so I mark it as red, so that way I don't have to mark it as red manually. And then I redirected the message to this is an application email address that I have one of my virtual team members take care of all emails that come into that application folder. So, <clears throat> and that's just a shared email box. I have another video that I'm going to uh, post here shortly on how to create shared boxes. But in this situation, I just simply redirected this message to the application shared email box that I assigned somebody else uh, in charge of managing all messages that come into that box. Now the benefit to that is they know exactly if this comes in here, this is an application confirmation or something to do with some type of uh, health policy. So they're going to document it as our processes are laid out. Um, but this is just another type of rule that you can create um, inside of the insurance company. Let me see if I can find one. I did the same thing for uh, producers or other people in our office. Um, Actually, this United Healthcare here is a good example. Um, you can see as far as the sender address, you can put multiple addresses in here as well. So you can line up all the whatever.com in here and then have them take whatever action you want. So that's how we're going to do that. Um, so you can simply create, oh, let me go back in there, these rules by clicking this add new rule right here. Once you click on that, you're going to name your commit your uh, con, uh, rule. So I'm just going to do uh, commission, for example, and then here's all of the conditions that you can trigger. And in this situation, I'm probably going to use the subject line version. So I'm going to do subject includes, and then I'm going to say commission, commissions paid. And as soon as you hit enter, it gives you the ability to do another one. So let me grab another one, uh, commission statement. So I'm just looking at the different emails that I have in my uh, inbox and trying to find the keywords to add to this. Um, so let's see, Humana has statement is ready for viewing. Okay, so that's how Humana put theirs. Um, let's see, let me find another one. Commission statement. So I've got that one in there already. Commission's paid. Uh, commission's paid. That's a pretty common one, it seems like. Um, what else do we have? Uh, life and health. So in this situation, it's more life and health. Um, let's just do let's just do commissions. That's another one that is probably just okay. So I'm going to do that for now. So this is going to be our rule, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I am going to um, let's forward this. So the difference between forward and redirect is redirect it just automatically essentially shifts a copy over to the other uh, box that you're going. Um, the forward will actually put the forwarding F, you know, W in the subject line so you, they know it's a forwarded message. The redirect does not include that. It just automatically redirects it and sends a copy to them. So in this situation, I don't want it to add the forwarding stuff in the subject line because that's just going to junk up ours. And then I am going to special activity here. Hang on, let me pause this. Okay, so I uh, had to start my uh, Teams application because I, in this situation, 
one of these, um, I'm doing a manual task using just the post message and uh, post an email message inside of Teams. So what I did was I pulled up my Teams account. So here's my Teams account, and I have a commissions uh, channel here because the management system that we use, um, the health and Medicare application or commission statements, I guess I should say, uh, that we receive don't automatically upload. So we have to enter them into the uh, Excel file so they can be uploaded as uh, commission statements inside of our management system. So what I do or what I'm doing in this scenario is I'm going to redirect these commission statements into this channel that I have uh, my assistant uh, in here, so I'm going to click on these three little dots, and I'm going to get um, get email address. So instead of sending it to um, a shared email box, I'm going to redirect it to my Teams channel. And so I'm going to paste that in here. Let me see if it. Hold on. Okay, so I'm just pasting it in Notepad so I can grab just the email address. So I have it set up to where I can forward to my own Teams channel. Um, look for one of the other videos on how to do that. I'm going to copy and paste this actual email address. Yeah, don't save. We're going to close that out, hit the value. Okay, it looks like it's automatically pushing it there. Um, so we're good to go. Puts that in there, and then I'm going to hit save. And it's going to add this to my list of rules right here at the top. And what you're going to find out is um, I'm going to pull over my uh, desktop outlook uh, here in a second. But what you're going to find out is the order that the rules are in here is the order that uh, it's going to automatically mash. Um, so in this situation, because I just want to forward it, but I still want it to go to the actual company uh, websites. I'm going to uncheck this box so it can continue to process other rules. I just wanted to send a copy, um, but then it can go down and it can sort into the uh, boxes that it needs to go to. So now that I've done that, I've hit save. This automatically happens on the server side. Let me pull over my. Okay, so here's my desktop version. Um, so we've got one that should meet the criteria. So you can click up here on rules, and we're going to manage rules and alerts. Now it's not going to work in this specific situation because I have this as a redirect, but if I was just having this sort it to a different folder, you'd be able to see it work. You can just click run rules now, and you can select just that commission, and you hit run. And then if this was just uh, one of the previous rules that sorted it into a folder that you've created on your desktop version, um, you would see the emails moving, uh, but because this commission rule that I set up was a redirect, where I'm redirecting it to a shared mailbox, uh, it doesn't let me do that manually because I've already received the, the email. So moving forward, this will automatically redirect all these messages to the shared mailbox. In the meantime, I'm just going to have to manually move these. But like I said, if it was one of the other ones that had... Um, where it moves, you could run rules now and just select the other one that has uh, move it into a certain folder. You can hit run now and it will sort through your mailbox and go through and it'll do the historical ones as well. And you can do it, uh, if you're going to go that route, what I would do is I would click on your inbox if this is the first time you're running that rule and do rules, manage rules and hit run, and you'll do your PNC, for example. And make sure you include it on your inbox. And then if you already have some folders set up with emails in there, you can click Include Subfolders, and it will go through all of your emails in there and then automatically send those out um, into the correct boxes if you're sorting them with that rule. Uh, so all you got to do is just hit Run Now, and it will start moving through all of your emails. I've already got filters set up so you don't see my emails disappearing here, but that's how you do it. Um, so 
hopefully this helps. If you want to learn how to forward those messages from inside of a shared mailbox, I'll put that in the shared uh, mailbox video. But if you have any questions on rules or have ideas, I'm curious how you're going to use this. Um, show me in the post below. Hit subscribe so we can stay in touch. And I uh, hope this helped create some forwarding rules. And I'll see you on the next video.